I am on Soy 7 and Patty on our day out. Now, Soy 7 holds a lot of good memories for me. I've had many, many good holidays in Patty and good times down Soy 7. Now, this is where Soy 7 bars used to be, the Aussie bar, one of my favourite bars on Soy 7, is now Blackwoods Hotel. But Soy 7 now, wow, it's so empty. Unbelievable. So here we are walking down Soy 7. And we're at the top of Soy 7, near Second Road, and there's a lot more bars open there. And as you're walking down Soy 7, how oh, Soy 7 used to be, for me, the best street for water fighting, Songkran. So walking down here, in a minute we're going to get to the bars where the bars were the best because there was plenty of bars opposite each other so the water fights was phenomenal and in Pattaya the sun cram went on for about 10 days and I used to love the water fights when I was down here so I used to do it for the full 10 days so now this is our first time in Pattaya now for almost three years so it's actually sad it was sad when we came yesterday and we went to Tree Town and uh, I'll talk a little bit about Tree Town later on but it, part here isn't the same now there's some bars here now just getting renovated so there is some work going on to renovate the bars but we were down here last night and it's empty so now we're approaching the the bars really where it all happened for, for water fighting and here we go look all empty all the work that's gone on here there is a little bit of renovation work going on you can see but Soy 7 was the heart of Patria when I was here It's just horrible to see because the, the people who come to Patia, they listen to all of the old people who've been here before and it's a fantastic place and it's a fantastic atmosphere. And it was. But now Soy 7, here we go and it's just empty. It's going to take years. It's going to take years to get everything back to as it as it was. Now, now we were at Tree Town, which is sort of the new place in Patia yesterday. And I've got to say, Tree Town, it's a massive complex with loads and loads of bars. But there's, although it's got loads of bars for me, I'm not a bar person anyway, so I might be the wrong person to to talk about this but I just think they lack the atmosphere of these little bars down Soy 7, Soy 8 where you've got a little bar and it's all walled around it and then you go next door and it's it's another bar with different music on and it's fantastic but Tree Town for me is just a big massive open complex full of bars competing with each other with noise we tried to find a quiet bar because we came down here with a friend and we, could, we couldn't. So we had to sit as far as we could away from any live bands and music just to hear ourselves being heard and talking to each other. But crazy. But this one here, we came down here last night to watch the sunset. It's been a long time since we Sat there watching the sun go down over part here. But it, it was lovely. Now we're going to try to cross this road. The traffic, it isn't too bad really. It, it's, it's good enough. But here we are on, on part of your beach. So that was just our little walk down Soy 7. My little 
blast of the past as uh, memories of that place and I had some good memories but sadly seeing it the way it is the new people who are going to come to Pattaya it's not going to be it's not going to be the same experience as it was years ago the demographics of the place has changed it's still a good place there's still plenty of girls to see but there's no customers or very few but I have noticed lots and lots of Indians about. Probably more Indians than anybody else. So maybe they're encouraging the Indians to come here. We're talking to a few bar owners last night and they don't like the Indians because the Indians don't sit in the bars and spend the money. They're just walking around. walking around sharing bottles of beer and they don't sit in the bars. So if Thailand's encouraged the Indians to come here, what they're coming here for? I have no idea. They they try to barter to get a massage. I've talked to one of the massage ladies yesterday, my wife went in and got a, a foot massage done. And three Indians came in and tried to get one hour of massage for three different people. It was 100 baht for an hour's massage, foot massage. And the guy came in who could speak English, asked the lady, could she do three people, you know, over an hour, like 20, 20 minutes each. And the lady told him to politely go away. And she said, this is what it's like all the time with the Indians trying to get you know more work done for not paying a lot of money if you know what I mean so okay that was my little vlog on soy 7 and from Les retired and living the dream we're off back home to Rayong now and back to normal life Patia I hope it survives, I hope it builds up, but it's going to be years before it's, it's going to be years before it gets back to how it was. So a couple of bars to go to, Nick Dean, have a look at Nick Dean's bar, I was talking to Nick yesterday, the top of Soy 7, he's just opening up another bar, so he'll have three bars open on Soy 7 as from next Friday, smashing guy, good atmosphere in his bars, lots of nice ladies. So that was a quick plug for Nick, smashing guy. Okay, enough. I'll catch you later, bye for now.